Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a simple little devil horn. I've just got a cardboard roll off a toilet roll, cut it in half lengthways and then I've just chopped a chunk off. And then out of that I make a semicircle shape and then roll that up to make a cone shape. Like that. And then I cut off this extra bit so that the bottom is all pretty level. And then it'll stick to the skin a lot easier. And then before I sell a tape it, I'm going to paint it. I've got like a creamy acrylic paint in here. You can use whatever you got. You can use face paint on it if you really want to. I'm just going to paint that over the top. And I'm going to add a bit of brow. This is a bit of uh, burnt sienna. I'm just using a little plastic dish as a makeup palette, and um, as a makeup as a paint palette, because it's easy to wash off. I'm just going to mix that in with the creamy colour. So it's um, if you want to know the exact colours, it's buff titanium mixed with burnt sienna. a bit darker on camera than it is. I'm going to put a tiny bit of yellow ochre in there as well. She's like a mustard colour. I'm basically I'm going to keep mixing until I get colour I want. And then Take out the hair that's mixed in it. Don't know where that's come from because I've got no long hair anymore. Then I'm going to apply that over the top because that's going to cover the colour of the cardboard tube better. Don't want a mega thick, mega dark layer. Move off my brush. And then I'm going to take a bit of brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to dab that around the top edge. Well, all the edges. of the uh, horn I'm wiping my finger off each time before I touch the um, brown eyeshadow so I don't ruin the eyeshadow I'm basically just experimenting with the colour of it. And I don't mind if the eyeshadow picks up some of the creases in the cardboard. That just adds to the texture of the piece.
just giving it a bit of texture and speckled effect of the colour. Then I'm just going to wipe my hands off here, the baby wipe, and wipe off my leg where I wipe the excess paint. It all wipes off pretty easily with the baby wipe, and it looks like that so far. So it's sort of a dowdy looking yellowy brown horn. You can dab more and more bits on as you like so it looks like that so I'm going to leave that to dry and then I'll come back and show you what to do next okay and once your um, semicircle is dry you need to take a bit of tape ideally a uh, double sided tape which I just remembered I have off a small piece, work out which way it needs to wrap around and apply the double sided tape to one edge and then peel off the protective cover if you can, which is easier said than done because it's not sticking. Hold on. Alright, so that bit's not going to stick. Because it found a damp patch. Let's try again. Oops. Excuse the latex on my arm, I'm waiting for something out something like the latex on my arm to dry for another tutorial. And getting the backing off double sided tape can be tricky. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I've got a piece of double sided tape there. Roll your horn into shape and then press the edges together. If you're not sure if that'll stay stuck for the whole time you're wearing it, take a tiny piece of tape at the back of the horn, stick it over the edges and push it in and then that bit will stay on in place okay so what I'm going to do now is just take a bit of latex and apply that to the bottom of the horn like so and then stick that to my head you can use lash glue as well I've used lash glue in the past to stick these on and that holds quite well, it tends to hold it all night. Okay, just going to wipe my hand. I'm not sure if that's going to stick very well actually. A bit more stuff. Got some more. Hold it a sec. And then with finger I'm just going to blend down those edges as best as I can before the latex dries I don't mind if it's a bit rough looking and then take a bit more latex on the end of a paintbrush use that to fill in any little gaps down the edges a little bit. Oh, I've stuck that in the wrong place really. I should do it a bit higher up. At least the advantage with this is you can change your mind and move it. Just wipe my head. Dip it into some more latex. 
and stick it where I think it should go and then smooth down all those edges again that bit that it wasn't working. Because there's a ring of latex around the bottom of it, that helps it to stick to my head. Um, just don't let your hair touch the latex because it will hurt when you take the latex off. So what do I do? I'll go and put some in my hair. I've got to get that off. Get that off now, else it'll never come off. And just remove any excess latex that you don't want on your skin. Oh, I've just leaned my. I've just leaned the latex on my arm against my t-shirt, so I've now got texturized skin. Never mind. That'll work quite well, actually. Um, oh, ah. This the advantage with this is you can restick it. Uh, once it's dry, it'll stay on. It's because it's wet, and I'm messing with it too much. Then I'm going to take a bit of red eyeshadow Dab that around the edge I'm making it look a little bit sore like the Horns just grown through. Just cover all the white with a reddish eyeshadow. Do the same all the way around. Like that. I'm just going to blend some of the edges in. And obviously, you do the same on both sides, but I'm being lazy and just making one devil horn. Just to show you. But obviously, you would make two, and then you just have like the second one. Like if you've got a side fringe like me, your second one would just be poking through there. But you get the idea anyway. Um, I'm going to take a bit of black eyeshadow and just apply that to the tip just to darken the tip of the horn off. As you can see, you've got to be quite careful with this while it's drying, otherwise, you'll pull it off. If any edges lift up, just lift them up. Put a bit of latex on the bottom and stick it back down. Then I'm going to take a cream coloured eyeshadow, just apply that a bit in the middle, just to add to the colour of it, really. And you can have that, you can have it any colour you want. And then I'm going to put a bit of red going up the horn. Again, like I said, so it looks like it's just sort of emerged from the skin. Obviously, if you made this horn out of latex, you wouldn't have that line at the back. But this is just a cheap way to make it if you haven't got a lot of equipment or whatever knocking around your house, a lot of makeup and stuff. Um, basically, for this, you just need shad eyeshadow. 
I've used latex but you can use lash glue because lash glue is made out of latex um, to create this effect then I'm just going to take a bit of white eyeshadow and just add that, it's just to give it a bit of a gradient to quiller best off to hold it in place while you apply the eyeshadow on it so you don't uh, knock it off darken that tip a bit You could paint light little ridges and things on just to give it a bit more um, texture, but I'm just doing it the quick, easy way. This is ideal for someone, like I said, who hasn't got a lot of equi equipment around. Um, and then to make, I've got recipes on my special effects 2012 playlist, I think it is on how to make fake blood, it's it's only um, glucose syrup and red food colouring so you can make your own, um, I'm just using a shop bought one for speed but you can make your own fake blood so it doesn't cost anything, you could even make um, you could even do it with like a bit of honey and red food colouring um, it never really sort of dries though um, but that's okay if you want like a sort of squishy zombie effect anyway. I'm just going to apply this around the very edge. So like I said it looks like the horns just come out of the skin. There's like a little groove between the bottom of the horn and the latex and that's where I'm applying the fake blood. And then of course you could make it, you could make it drip down if you want. Um, you can add as much or as little fake blood as you like and you can make it drip or you can make it look like it's um, just a little bit of blood or you can make it look like the horn's always been there and not add the redness and just sort of blend it more in with the skin tone. Um, but that's it, that's an easy way to make a devil horn. Um, ideal if you haven't got a lot of makeup around the house and also if you're a bit short on ideas and it's getting a bit close to a party or something you can just something you quickly do because you can wear whatever outfit you want and then just add this you can also add a bit of makeup if you like as well but it's up to you um so that's it hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching bye